Hey YouTube, this is Spark Starter Channel. Just want to share a project with you I've been working on. This is one of those projects that you think will take a weekend and then will end up taking two months. Um, it is a 3D printed Hoffman apparatus or hydrogen reactor as some people are calling them. And we have two carbon electrodes here. Here's a close up of just the, uh, the carbon carbon electrodes I ordered online and these been, have been working out really well got my power supply and these are 3D printed um, tube mounts and I have acrylic tube that I epoxied into these and yeah we're disassociating water with a little bit of baking soda mixed in and I have the hydrogen being collected in this tube and I have the oxygen just percolating out of the water and then free to atmosphere and um, this tube, the oxygen tube is a little higher so all the displaced water fills this tube uh, fills the oxygen side and that water column provides uh, some weight to pressurize the hydrogen that is in um, the other tube. So that gives me a little air pressure so I can you know, you know, ignite my uh, hydrogens or, or collect it, or do experiments with the hydrogen gas. Now to get to this final design I went through many iterations. I had some, some short ones to try to uh, reduce the amount of uh, 3D print filament that was required. Uh, I tried some designs where I would drill a hole in the tube and then try to bridge it with a 3D print. Uh, started to evolve into better designs to just mount the whole the whole tubes uh, inside of the, the 3D printed structure. But what you can see is this is the uh, the dried baking soda. So even if I had a really high quality print I found that the water baking soda would leak out through the the, the layers of the 3D print. So I had a lot of problems with uh, leaking for a long time. So, so I had uh, you know, leaking issues. This is sort of the design. I had uh, sort of a mated system that it sort of uh, through two 3D prints would mate in here. And I have holes at the bottom for the corks where the uh, carbon electrodes would enter. And I had a lot of, as I said, had a lot of leaking issues. I tried doing things like this is uh, I poured acetone in there and shook it around, trying to you know, dissolve and uh, fill those those cracks that would have allowed for leaks, and it wound up just sort of you know dissolving the PLA, and I sort of got my nice clear acrylic tube got full of this PLA gunk, so that that didn't really work. And this is the stand. There's no problem with the stand. That was a pretty straightforward print. It just supports the um, the pipe terminals. But what I found to get this to work, it was a combination of sort of a rounded design sort of a, 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 that would mate with the pipe uh, as opposed to a square. I found a lot of the corners and curves I had in the original design allowed for leaks, so I eliminated that. And then I used Flex Seal. So I sprayed both inside and outside of my 3D print uh, pipe terminals with the flex seal and that really worked to, uh, to stop the leaks. Uh, another thing that was a source of leaks in the design is I had these little bolt holes that uh, allow me to, to put, put the, uh, the electrode pipe terminals um, on the stand and I found these were hard to 3D print and not result in some kind of leakage and it was hard to seal with a flex seal so I just made them notches so the other the other 3D print design had no hole, it was just a notch to help accommodate the bolts. Alright, so that's all my iterations of 3D print Hoffman apparatus designs. And at the end of the day, it was a, an improved design and some flex seal uh, made it all happen. And uh, all right, now I will, we've, we've just filled our hydrogen collection side full of hydrogen so let's uh, let's try to ignite
So I have here a little uh, blue valve that will allow me to control the, uh, the hydrogen. And I got these. These are these uh, Lee's Aquarium products. So these are really handy for this project if you want to uh, do different things with hydrogen gas. Well, that's my uh, DIY 3D printed Hoffman apparatus project. So, hope you enjoyed it.